Welcome. Let me share with you one of my favourite puzzles of all times. I have it in my Maths Without Words book and I also have a, a wall calendar which is available on the website. Ok, here goes. Here's, here's what the puzzle is. Let me draw some circles. Here's one circle, here's another circle, another circle and so on. On the first circle I'll place one dot. On the second circle I'll place two dots. The next one I'll place three dots and then I'll place four dots and more circles, more one dot each time. Ok, great. What I'm going to do now is connect each pair of dots within each picture with a line. Uh, this first picture only has one dot, so nothing I can draw, but the second picture I can draw, connect those two dots to make a line there. Third picture, there's several lines I connect between dots. This one I can connect several pairs of dots, and I want to make sure I get every possible pair of dot dots, and that's all grand. And all I'm going to do is count how many pieces that's divided the circle into. For example, there's one piece here. Here, this divides the circle into two pieces. This construct divides the circle into four pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. And my question is, if I did five dots on a circle, what would the next number of pieces be? And I bet you're screaming at me in, in loud voices, 16 pieces, so let's check. So here's five dots. Let me connect each and every pair of dots possible. And I'm trying to draw semi-neatly. Da, 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 da. And as a little self-check, since there are five dots in total, each dot should have four lines coming out of it that is connected to each of the four other dots available. And I think I've done that correctly. And let's count how many pieces we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, indeed sixteen. Not much of a puzzle, because clearly if I do six dots on a circle, I will get 16 pieces. Let's go for it. Da, 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 da. Oh, sorry, what am I saying? 32 pieces. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So here goes. Let's actually do six dots on a circle and let's see if we can find all 32 pieces. Da, 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 da. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright, that's going to mean each dot is connected to five other dots. There should be five lines. Whoops. Five lines coming out of each dot. Now, my lines, I guess, should be straight, but obviously you see I'm, I'm failing on that right now. I don't think having non-straight lines is going to be an issue. It will change the shape of my pieces as long as I don't falsely cross lines. For example, if I was right now to go over this way, that would give me a false region. I think I need to stay on this side of that line. Even though it's, it's a bit warped, I technically still haven't changed the number of pieces. All right, this is actually kind of tedious to watch, I'm sure. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm getting there. One, two, oh, now there's an issue. Um, if my dots were symmetrically placed, I'd be going right through this intersection point right here. Let me assume my dots are slightly off kilter so that I get the maximum number of pieces possible. That is, I want every hope of seeing all 32 pieces. If I have sort of a, a multi-intersection point in the middle, I might lose sight of some pieces. So I'm going to arrange my dots so that I see all possible pieces. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and one more line. Whoops. Five. Okay, I know that's all curved, but if this is not going to affect the counter pieces. So, all right, so we saw one piece, two pieces, four pieces, eight pieces, 16 pieces. Obviously, this is going to be 32, but you can probably guess by the psychology of things, how I've set things up, we're in trouble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, ten pieces so far. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're in up to 20 pieces. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 30 pieces. And 31. 31. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 31. For six circles, six dots on a circle, one gets 31 pieces. Heavens. So that leaves, what's the question for seven dots? What's the formula for eight dots? Nine dots? Um, I'll give one of these away. If you do seven dots on a circle, you'll find 57 pieces. Eight dots, I'll leave up to you. Nine dots, I'll leave up to you. The reason why I love this puzzle is that mathematicians, yes, are absolutely excited when they discover patterns. But patterns need not be true. 
a wise mathematician fully knows that one can be excited and one can be motivated by patterns, but one cannot trust them. It's only when one has the pure logic behind a system that one is able to say a pattern is true, that then things are truly uh, meaningful and correct. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, it seems so compelling to say 32, it just isn't. So next question would be, what are these numbers? Now, I suspect there is structure behind them. After all, we're doing something very, very well-defined and well-articulated. So there's got to be some, some depth to what these numbers are. And I've done this with young kids. I've done this with middle schoolers. And these kids actually, I'll tell you one thing, found a formula for these numbers. And not only found a formula that happens to work for the ones they tried as high as they went, they could prove logically that their formula was correct. And let me give you a little hint of how they go, because this is actually a great area of research. Young kids like to count everything. So here's back to five dots. So we counted the number of pieces and found that was uh, uh, one, two, three, four, 16 pieces. But kids also counted the number of lines. Whoops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lines. So the number of lines is 10. And they also t counted how many times the lines cross each other. There's little intersection points. In this case, the number of intersection points whoops, is 5. Now, I know I'm only giving you one data point, but I'd like you to do the same thing for all the other pictures I drew, including this big 6 one. And like the youngsters, you probably come to suspect that the number of lines plus the number of intersections, so 10 plus 5 is 15, plus one more makes the number of pieces. So these youngsters manage to observe that the number of lines plus the number of intersections always seems to equal the number of pieces. They had to prove that, and they did with logic, because what that then allowed them to do is they found a formula for the number of lines. They found a formula for the number of intersections, which meant they could combine those formulas and come up with the formula for the number of pieces. Now, the reason I'm pushing for this even further We've got no reason right now to believe that's true. I've only given you one example, and that's not much to go on. But play with it. But when I say play with it, really play with it. And what I mean by that is let's bend the rules. Who said the lines have to be straight? What well, if I started getting insane and did crazy things like this? I've just drawn three wild lines. The number of lines is three. How many intersection points did I make? One two, three, four, five. And how many pieces do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pieces is nine. And look, three plus five, lines plus intersections, is one off for me the number of pieces. L plus I plus one, again, is the number of pieces. Coincidence? Or is this formula actually much more general than it first appears? You know, maybe you want to start just doodling and do really crazy things. Ooh, whee. So I'm having fun. I should make silly noise effects. So I guess my real puzzle is, and this dots on a circle puzzle is, in what sense is this formula true? How crazy can you be? Why is it true for those situations? Once you know it's true in those situations, including the straight line case I started off with, can you then find a formula for the number of lines, number of intersections for the straight line case, and use that formula to make sense of these crazy numbers? By the way, I'll give it away. Next number is 99. Does that help? All right, thanks very much.